hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can fix your background in photoshop so let's get started so this is my image in photoshop and i'm going to fix this background first i'm going to i'm going to click on ctrl j to duplicate my layer and i'm going to crop this image four by five to see if i can remove those parts right there so let's go to my crop tool and just use four by five ratio to crop this image and remove as much part of the image that i can remove like this and click on okay Make sure your content aware is checked and Photoshop will automatically fill those areas for you. So after that, I'm not going to manually remove those parts that I don't like on the image. So to do that, I'll pick my patch tool and just zoom in a little bit and just remove those parts which I really don't like. Also, these ones right here, all the folds on the background, I'm just going to remove them. Now let's see before and after. These are before and these are after. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to separate my subjects from the background. And to do that, I'm going to make a selection of the subjects. So I'll pick my object selection tool and I'm just going to select my subjects like this. So after selecting my subjects, I'm just going to add the chair to the selection. You can see it's not selecting the chair. So I'm not going to add those parts not selected to the selection. So you can take your time to make your selection look perfect. But I'm just going to use my... um quick selection tool and just add those parts that are not selected to the selection like that and if you want to remove from a selection hold alternate to remove and shift to add like that or you can press here to add or here to remove so after what i'm going to do i'm going to invert the selection by pressing on ctrl shift i or command shift i if you're using the mac and after I invert the selection, you can see right now the background is selected. I'm just going to click on Ctrl J and I've successfully cut out the subjects from the background. So if I turn off all my layers, you can see the subject is no longer in the background. So I'm going to turn it back on. And right now I'm going to make another selection of the subject. And to do that, once my subject layer is selected, I'm just going to press Ctrl on my keyboard and click on this background layer like this. And the selection is going to come back. And I'm just going to invert the selection again by pressing on Ctrl Shift I. And right now you can see my subject is selected. And I'm going to add a layer mask. So click here to add a layer mask to this or subject layer. I'm also going to rename this layer subject so you can understand better. Subjects. And I'm going to rename this layer background. Like that. So right now we have our subject layer and we have our background layer. Now next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring this background layer below the subject layer like this. So just click on it and drag it below the subject layer. What I'm going to do next, I'll come to my filter, I'll come to my blur, and I'll come to Gaussian blur. I'm not going to blur it with any radius I want. So I'm going to blur this with a radius of about, uh, let's take it up and see which radius works. So I think, um... Let's see, 45. I think 45 actually works. I think 45 actually works for this image. So I'll click on OK. Now you can see the before and the after. If I zoom in, you can see right here, this place is blurry. So to remove this part from the selection, I'll just click on my subject layer. I click on the layer mask, pick my normal brush tool, and just use white brush to remove those parts from this selection. Remember, black brush hide and white brush will use. So I'll remove those parts from the selection like that. And if I zoom in, okay, these parts are looking good. So any part that are not selected, you can just add them or remove them from the selection if you want. So you can see how good this background is looking right now. This is the before and this is the after. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make the background a little bit whiter. And to do that, I'm just going to come to my background layer, come to my adjustment layer, click on my hue and saturation adjustment layer, come to the reds, and just remove the saturation in the reds like that so you can see the before and after so this is the before and this is the after you can see the reds right there are gone those places that are looking like they are brown are no longer there the before and the after i'll do the same thing for my yellows i'll cut my yellows and just reduce the saturation of the yellows like that so you can see the background is looking a little bit whiter right now now next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to come to my adjustment layer again and just click on my curve adjustment layer, click on my defaults, and just click on lighter RGB. 
to add a little brightness to the background so i'm going to take it up like this to add a little brightness to the background you can see how good this background is looking right now and to make it look even more natural i'm going to add noise to this background and you can see everything i'm doing is below my subject layer and above my background layer so to add noise to your background all you have to do is create a new empty layer and just come to your edits come to your fill and fill with 50 percent gray opacity 100 click on ok so you can see right now it's affecting only the background so what i'm going to do next just come to your filter you come to your noise and click on add noise and just choose any amount you want. I'm going to reduce the amount so about 10% and click on OK. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to change my blend mode from normal to soft light. So I'll come to my blend mode, click on it and just change it to soft light. So it's looking more natural right now. So let's see where we started from and where we are right now. So I'm just going to group everything I did and let's see the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after the before. And after so that's how you can fix your background in photoshop and if you want to watch more retouching tutorial make sure to click on this video showing up here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative